Hi, this is Aman and today we'll talk about cloud storage. Cloud storage is a remotely available data storeroom that can store an immense amount of information which can be accessed by any approved and authorized individual remotely that is via regular internet connections through confirmed passwords. Now, what really we do with our data? We spare it on a remote database and that database can be accessed over web through confirmed passwords. So the idea of putting away information over web is really fascinating, but it possesses some gigantic protection concerns with respect to data. Now the cloud storage industry is overseen by some huge players of IT industry. These organizations have all the appropriate resources in terms of cash, frameworks, servers, and in particular human knowledge to execute such mind-boggling tasks with extreme exactness and utmost precision. Now the organizations like Amazon, Apple, Google, they all provide free cloud storage services that is limited to a couple of gigabytes. And in case you exceed that limit, they charge a nominal annual fee and you can use their services extensively. Now, there's no rainbow without rain and there are always two sides of a coin. So with advantages, we get some disadvantages also. So let's talk about it. Now let's talk about the advantages. The first one is ease of usage. You can enroll yourself on any particular organization site and you can start utilizing their services. It's as simple as that. Now the second one is ease of access. You can access your account from any part of the world remotely over a regular internet connection through confirmed passwords. The third advantage is multiple access. You can access your account over a number of gadgets irrespective of the platforms. The fourth one is backup. Cloud storages can fill the sole need of reinforcement for any individual. And the fifth one is security. The cloud storage services are usually encrypted and your data is completely safe over there. So now let's talk about the disadvantages. The first one is internet access. So as we already told you that cloud storage services can only be accessed over web. So if you don't have a working internet connection, it will be an issue for you. The second one is expenses. So once uh, you exhaust the free data limit, you need to pay a nominal fee annually and that could really be irritating. The third one is loss of data. If in case you forget the password of your cloud storage services, there's no way to recover your data. Now the fourth one is privacy concerns. You can never be sure enough when a third party has a hold over your personal or professional data. The fifth and the last and the most important disadvantage is any information that is put over web is always vulnerable to attacks. So you got to be smart and you got to take proper measures to protect your data. Now, as I've already told you the advantages and disadvantages, you must be feeling why and when should we use cloud storage. The cloud storage is really valuable. It is really simple to use. It gives you a lot of flexibility and availability in terms of accessing your data and is a widely used process in this world. So you can always rely on cloud storage. If you don't want to go mainstream, you can keep it as your backup, but it will always serve the purpose. Thank you.